about digital security and privacy for our SMP. Um, okay, first, what do you understand about digital security? Uh, digital security is the collective term that describes the resources employed to protect our online identity, data and other access. These two include website, service, antivirus software, handphone SIM card and biometrics and research personal device. That's true. These tools can be anything we use to safeguard our data, like inscription software, biometrics, and web service. Our digital security device include the SIM card in your phone and e-passport. Since these are both tools we use to communicate uh, and travel using our ident digital identity in a way that is both convenient and secure. However, digital security is how to protect your online identity. How do you protect your digital privacy? I will secure my account because if I have account, hacker can leak data from at least one of them. If you manage to secure your account, I'm using a password manager to generate and remember different complex password for every account. Yes, this is the, that is the most important thing that people can do to protect their privacy and security today. Do you update your software and devices? Yes, I update my software and devices such as my phone, my computer operating system, web browser, popular apps and even smart home devices. Let's move to the last question. What are, what are the different types of digital security? Well, the type of digital security that I only know are antivirus software and current update firewalls. Antivirus software, virus delivered through malware and other malicious system infect your data and bring your system to a sketching help. A good antivirus program not only detect and cleanse of this infection but also keep out suspicious program and isolate likely print while current update firewall. Firewall have been around for years and many cyber security experts dismiss them as absolute. However, a state of the art vision is a quality useful for keeping out unwanted users. You are right. They are also policies that break the bridge the between gap uh that bridge the gap between users and internet. Uh using filtering rules in life with or with and uh, organizations IT policies proxies block dangerous website uh, and leverage an authentication system that can control access and monitor usage. Well that's all from me. Thank you. Thank you Antika for your cooperation. Wei, aku dapat 3288. Wo. 
Hello. Good morning. Can I talk to Mr. Kazarul? Yes, I am. Who is this? Encik Kazarul, I made a call from ABC Bank. I want to confirm the purchase test, uh, transaction using Mr. Credit Card amounting to 10,000 just now. 10,000? Where well, I bought a watch? I think you're mistaken. I already have a watch. But sir, in our record, the watch, the watch was charged using your credit card. Using my credit card? For real? Where is this? Where? According to our records, Miss, uh, you have just made the purchase at M&O Mall Hong Kong Baru just now. Hey, don't play play around. Uh, I don't buy anything. I am Malaysia now. Malaysia, you know, my credit. Wow. I am not in Hong Kong. That's right, sir. It is in our record. I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Kazarul. I think you have been a victim of credit card fraud. Wait, what? What credit, credit card fraud? Fraud? Huh? Uh, um, pardon, pardon? Okay, sir, don't panic. We will help you to investigate this matter. I will connect your call to the uh, credit card transaction verification department to further assistance. Yes. Help me, ma'am. Thank you very, very much. One eternity later. Mr. Kazarul, thank you for waiting. I am an officer on duty. Can I get Mr. Kazarul's identity card number? Okay. Uh, wait, wait a second, yeah? Please. Uh, my my what? Identity card number. Okay, this one. <clears throat> 851 Thank you, sir. I also need your credit account number for further confirmation. Ah, okay. Eight eight two two one one two eight five five one four five four five ten zero. Thank you, Mr. Kazaro's bank account number. Ah, oh, 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 there's so much. Okay, wait, ah. Uh. Ah. This one? Okay. <clears throat> My account number 9876543321. Okay, thanks for all those confirmation. I will do further investigation for the purpose of saving Mr. Kazarus. I suggest that you transfer what you have in a temporary mm -hmm. bank account. The account number is 5543421. I repeat again 5543421. After the investigation is complete, we will transfer the money back to Mr. Kazaru's bank account. I ask that you do not inform anyone within three days until we finish the investigation. Okay, I'll make the transfer as soon as possible. Thank you. Yes, I will help you. Don't worry. Leave all the details to us and we will arrange everything to help. Okay, fine. the job ad in the phone app and immediately applied for the job. I've also studied the background at the company. About four times I was interviewed by them and they ensured me that this job is safe and nothing bad will happen when I go to the They also offer a basic salary of 12,000 ringgit per year but all the letters is not gold when they arrived. It was too late for me to turn back. Upon my arrival in Cambodia on May 6, after I made my e visa at Cambodia Airport in Hong Kong, I was picked up by a man working with the syndicate as the driver. He is a friendly person and has a good attitude. After he picked me up, he said that he wanted to take me to gas station to refill the car. After we arrived at the gas station, there were three men who got into the car. I thought that they also wanted to take a look and they said they could see. Maybe they come from another country and we were together to take a look. But instead, 
they were assigned to watch over me all the way there. Along the way, I asked the robot about what difference is like in Cambodia. Then they replied sternly that I will know about the hospital of the day. When that arrived at their headquarters, located on the hill, I was ordered to get out of the car and they conducted a thorough search of me. Then I was directly taken to the hotel and given training for two days. There I was taught several things, one of which was how to trust for money because they were the deepest Malaysian expect to keep their money from the bank. After that, I had to transfer the money outside Malaysia or to another country. Otherwise, their bank card may be frozen by the bank or the bank may be aware of the loss of the money. Being a leader, I work I work as a film agent. Scammers have various types, found them in other scams, job scams, cryptocurrency different scams, and others on Facebook and Instagram. Then we will be very few monitors, each along with 10 smartphones. One day, after 12 midnight, when I was in the hostel, I opened my mobile phone and opened the data. Then I sent a message and I called my friends and family. I asked them for help by informing them my whereabouts and work. About half an hour or 20 minutes later, they entered my room and pushed me to the floor. Then they took me to a room and locked me there. I was locked up for two days and given food once a day. That is rice and gravy as punishment. After two days, they released me and gave me a warning. I met the person who took me to that place in the canteen. I asked him for help and told him what happened to me. He also felt sad and sympathized with me. So he gave me a piece of paper and told me to wait for him during the day. Suitable for escape, it was around 6 in the morning. He put me in the box he used to take groceries out and in a public place. I hid in the box. We both know that it's risky. The driver took me out of the hill and I transferred to another car in the middle of the road and he arranged to bring me to the airport. I was not allowed to check in when I arrived at the airport because I did not have complete documents. Thankfully, there was an officer who helped me. He, he helped me board the plane when without documents and without having to go as a As soon as I arrived in Kuala Lumpur, I immediately made a report to the police. Luckily, they knew that I had escaped. They knew the details of my information because important documents that are in Google Drive can be accessed using my mobile phone. I hope that my story can be a message for a lesson, especially to people who have just got a job or are looking for a job. If there is an ad saying that this is a good opportunity, then the donate experience people to just get someone who is hardworking and they need you to work in another country than you work. This is because they will say that if you work in the Russian country, then you will get a good salary. Approximately, RM 10,000 or RM 8,000 per month and there is a commission. You all need to be careful with such reports all to make all of Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>